Okay, so you've seen my previous videos. You're sold on the idea. The next question is, where do you start? So here today is my beautiful wife to help me demonstrate six compound exercises that you can do. They're called compound exercises because they involve uh, multiple joints. She's gonna show the basic or the beginner version. I'm gonna show you the more advanced variation. Ready? Before anything else, make sure that you spend a few minutes warming up. One thing you can do is uh, jumping jacks. Go ahead, try. You see more? That's one of the few times I can raise my voice at my wife. For most of her exercises, we'll be using uh, a band. This one is less than 500 pesos from the half one. The first exercise we're gonna show is the horizontal push. I'm just going to anchor this uh, around a, a stable object. Okay, go ahead. And then one foot in front of the other, and then basically just push forward horizontally. That will work the chest plus the, the triceps. If you can handle your body weight, just drop on the ground and do push ups. For our next exercise, this is a horizontal pull, so he's gonna do it with a band. So go ahead and just uh, hold both legs and then step over it. And then bend from the hips, make sure the back is straight, basically uh, pulling the band up. That's gonna work the back plus the, the biceps. So you wanna feel like you're squeezing the shoulder blades together while you're doing this exercise. Now, for me, this band is gonna be too light, so I'm gonna do it with a barbell. I'm gonna bend forward with the back straight. And then, I'm gonna feel like I'm squeezing my shoulder blades and putting my elbow behind me. The next exercise is a vertical push. Again, using a band, she's going to step over one end and then push the other end upward. So this will work the shoulders and also the, the tricep. My turn, I'm going to use dumbbells. Vertical pull again with the bats is for her. I'm going to anchor it like this. Then she's gonna sit on a bench or a chair and basically pull it down like that. Right? And just like the bent over row or the horizontal pull, she, you want to feel like the shoulder blades are being pulled together or squeezed together. That works the back, the lats, plus the bicep. If you can handle your body weight, then just do pull up like this. Now we're gonna go to the lower body. She's going to show us how to squat. You can use anything. In this case, we're using Chloe's school bag. You just go and hug that. And then, squat. Now, don't tell me this is not safe. Everyone should be able to do this because you do this every day. At least I hope you do this every day in the toilet. Now for me, I'll use a dumbbell. And then hold it in front of my chest. And I'll do the same motion. How far should I go? Uh, 
uh, at least up to the point where my thighs are parallel to the ground. If you're not sure, just put the bench like what she did and stop when your butt hits the bench. And last but not least, we're gonna do the hip hinge. So she's gonna start like she did with the horizontal pull or the bent over row. But instead of pulling the arms behind her body, she's just going to straighten. My turn. I'm gonna use a barbell, I'm gonna do a deadlift. And I'm gonna start uh, like I would with the bent over row. This back straight, butt out. So the first part of the deadlift is basically straightening of the leg, and then you finish off with an extension of the hips. Now I suggest that you take a video of yourself while you're working out just to make sure your form is correct. So those are six compound exercises you can do. You can do a circuit, meaning you do six exercises and then repeat them two or three times. That's one workout. And then you repeat that workout twice or three times a week. Don't worry about doing bicep curls or tricep extensions because the compound exercises are already hitting those muscles. If she can do it, you can do it. No need for special equipment, really. Just a set of bands. They come in different tensions and they're cheap. So there's no excuse. With regards to the number of repetitions per set, if you can't do at least 10, then it might be too heavy at this point. If you're doing uh, 25, that might be too light. Somewhere in the range of 12 to 15 would be a good target. The first few weeks, you're just concerned about getting the technique right. Don't be stupid like me. I went heavier than I should, and I was always getting injured. Don't think that because you only did 10 minutes or 15 minutes that it's not a productive session. As long as you can be consistent, it's going to pay off in the future. That's it for us. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and make sure you hit the subscribe button.